we're going to tilt this all the way forward enough to where this fluid is almost wanting to pour out and definitely not enough to where we're going to open up the very bottom and introduce air into the system. Then you're going to go ahead and pump your lever, making sure that you do have that bleed block in your caliper. And we're basically we're just looking to see if there's going to be any air bubbles. So just to continue to pump this just nice and firm, there's a bubble there. So by tilting it this way, we're tilting the fluid on the inside, forcing any air to go up to the top and exit. As we're pumping, it wants to force it out and then it's going to pull fluid in. And then we're just going to tilt this again. Now we're just going to go the opposite direction. This would be flat and horizontal. It's not a bad idea to stop here, give it a couple pumps. Give it five, 10 pumps. If you get one bubble out of five or 10 pumps, you're probably good to move on. And then we're gonna go to the other side and same thing, five to 10 pumps. Lever feels good, by the way. Uh, if it does not feel good, if you're going to the handlebar, something went wrong and you need to go back and figure out what went wrong. Just keep repeating the steps until you're absolutely sure no more bubbles are coming through. Go ahead and put my plunger back in. And if you have a little bit of pour over, that's okay. It's not too bad here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple drops on top because when I put my bleed cap on top, I want it to push fluid out, have it pour out the sides, and it's telling me that I'm getting any possible areas of air pockets out of there, so there's no air in the system. This will be our another test here. So I'm squeezing first point of contact, boom, right there. So that's pretty good. 